hi um i guess this is my first official vlog and lucky for you guys it's gonna be a travel vlog so stay tuned for that i guess i wanted to just come on here and take you through my day so i'm currently getting ready um, and I don't leave for a few hours, but I just wanted to get everything out of the way and I wanted to film uh, a little portion here before I pack everything and before I'm out the door. So I guess this is a mini get ready with me. So I guess I'm gonna just do a little makeup, not too much because I am going to be on a very long flight. Um, oh, and I haven't even told you where I'm going yet. I'm going back home to Serbia and now I'm going uh, to visit my family, which is so exciting. And oh, I cannot wait. I'm um, like the food, the atmosphere, the people. Oh, it's just mwah, chef's kiss. I'm so excited. But yeah, so I'm gonna, I guess, take you through what I normally do for my makeup well which is not much actually because I barely wear makeup only if, if I'm like going on a trip somewhere unless I have something going on like an event or something but yeah so I guess the first thing I usually do is put some Avion uh, mist it's literally just water in a bottle I don't know if there's any sort of Thing added to it is just to hydrate your face so I just usually add this probably looks so weird on camera doing that and recently I went to Sephora to get some sunscreen and I wanted to get like a big sort of like bottle or something to drench myself in while I'm on vacation because I burn very easily and when I went there and I asked like the worker hey can you help me find a good sunscreen they like recommended the smallest possible sunscreen ever but i'm kind of dumb for that because um sephora is just for like your face mainly and not the entire body so i still ended up buying it because i needed something that's good for sensitive skin and i have very sensitive skin i break out so easily so i want to get something good uh, and I normally don't wear sunscreen, which is kind of bad because um, you really should be wearing sunscreen all the time. Anyway, I'm um, babbling on. I don't know even know what I'm talking about anymore. But uh, at Sephora, I got the Summer Fridays um, sunscreen, which I've never heard of before. I hope it's good. I put on a little sample on my hand and it smelled really good. It's supposed to be... Uh, made with mineral milk apparently so that's good so it's very small and of course it's not gonna like really help my entire body okay weird anyway and then i went to um costco to get another sunscreen sorry it's so hard to focus on the actual lens and not the viewfinder and if I trail off, I'm so sorry. But anyway, and I also have a, um, what's it called? A mirror behind right here. So I'm probably going to be looking there too to know what I'm doing. So anyway. Okay. So that's that. This is going to be a really fast get ready with me because again i'm not doing much and i already straightened out my hair and washed it so i feel like that was too boring to show you guys so yeah but this is the other sunscreen that i got from costco it's spf 50 and it has coconut in it i think or it's coconut scented at least i don't know but that's what i'm gonna be putting all over my body so i don't burn um but yeah Okay, so I guess I will do some moisturizer. So I ended up going to Sephora again because I forgot to get myself some moisturizers. So I went yesterday and I just got myself the Ordinary um, moisturizer. And I used this before and I actually didn't run out. It's just I, I'm so bad when it comes to like moisturizing and stuff. And so I just like left it open for too long. I'm gonna put this all over my face as well. Okay. 
again sorry if i'm staring over here because i have a mirror in front of me okay all right all nice and moisturized i am going to fill in my eyebrows actually and I got these little clips for my hair not to get into my eyes. So I'm actually going to put those on. I was meant to put them on before I started doing all of this. But yeah, I might look a little crazy. But I don't want my hair to get in the way. Because sometimes when it's behind my ears, it always ends up getting in to my eyes. So, hmm, okay, I look like a little alien. It, it is what it is. Uh, okay, so I will actually... So that way I'm not always staring over there i do have my little mirror right here that i'm gonna use so if i can open oh my god my hands are so slippery from the moisturizer okay let me just brush them out again i have no clue what i'm doing with my makeup why is this so flaky what the heck okay or my skin is flaky see make sure to moisturize it's very important I need to follow my own advice so okay and I just got my eyebrows done not too long ago so that's good this eyebrow pencil is not um, too good but yeah I'm gonna be vlogging a lot more I hope at least because I got this vlogging camera for a reason and I really do want to stay consistent, but because I'm going back to school, um, in case you're wondering, I'm studying psychology. And so I'm going to be so busy this year, so I'm hoping that I end up being able to vlog, at least on the weekends or something, and then edit. Um, but not promising anything. I hope that looks good. I'm just going to brush them a little bit more because... I don't know how well I did this. See, I'm so flaky. This is not good. Okay. That's what it is. But yeah, I'm so excited about doing this because it's honestly been on my bucket list for quite some time now. I haven't ever really gotten the courage to do it. And now all of a sudden I'm like, you know what? I'm peeling off the band-aid and I'm finally doing it. And it's going to be like really hard for me to vlog in public because I'm just, uh, I can be a shy person, okay? And it's kind of intimidating to vlog in public when everybody's watching you, right? So, yeah. Um, okay, so the next thing I'm doing is I'm using my um, heated or, yeah, I guess heated uh, eyelash curler. I got this from Amazon and I've been using it for a while now. You just charge it and it heats up and you just use it on your eyelashes. I um, heard uh, Aspen Ovard using this and so I was just like, I gotta check it out because it looks good. And it doesn't really damage your eyelashes or not, at least that I know of. Um, so, excuse my funny face while I put mascara on and everything oh and I didn't even tell you guys I'm using the morphe eyebrow pencil and I'm not even done with my eyebrows I still need to add eyebrow gel I'm skipping many steps because again me and makeup do not go well together but yeah, I wanted to do this YouTube thing for quite some time now, and I'm like, what perfect way to, to do it than, like, starting now because I'm going on vacation, my first solo trip, finally being reunited with my family, and I think it, it would be just so nice to do it, and yeah, and I was like, why not? And for my first vlog this would be a dope vlog so I'm like okay I'm going in with my morphe eye uh, mascara not eyebrow pencil <laughs> I already said that I use that um, I'm just gonna apply that 
oh, it's so hard to have so many like mirrors in the camera and stuff I feel like I just typical youtuber right I'm just hoping that my eyes don't get irritated because I am wearing contact lenses and I'm scared that my eyelashes or my eyes sorry will get irritated because of the mascara because sometimes they tend to do that and you know if I'm gonna be sleeping on the flight too it's gonna be really hard but I did buy eye drops so hopefully that helps um, my flight is very long um, it's eight and a half hours I believe and then I have a layover and then uh, from that layover I have like an hour and a half to travel to my destination I'll explain more when I'm at the airport but that's pretty much it so it's like 10 plus hours of traveling and I'm so scared that um, my eyes are gonna be destroyed by the end of it especially if I'm gonna be sleeping because you shouldn't sleep with your contacts in right um, and I sometimes do that especially when I take naps so that's not good my optometrist not proud of me at the moment oh my god it's so weird doing this on camera because I've never done it before obviously and I feel like my hands are shaking and I'm gonna look at, back at this video and I'm gonna be like what the heck did I do okay I might have to fix this after camera but off camera sorry um but I'm gonna add two coats on it to make my eyes pop usually my green eyes pop when I put mascara on so that's a good thing I guess and then the last thing I'm gonna do is complete my eyebrows so when I was at Sephora I needed eyebrow gel and I usually use Morphe eyebrow gel but they didn't sell it or didn't have it and I checked out Morphe a few weeks ago and they didn't have it well they did but they didn't have the translucent one that I normally get and I lost mine I don't know where it went I wish I knew the answer to that but uh, the girl recommended the Benefit Cosmetics eyebrow gel or yeah eyebrow setter gel whatever I've never used it she said that it's good and I think she, like she used it on her eyebrows and it, they looked really good although she is a makeup artist probably because she works at Sephora whoa the wand is like super spiky I like it okay let me just apply this real quick it looks like I haven't done anything to my brows or I have, but you can't even see anything. I don't know, I kind of just brush them out in the natural wave. I know some people spike it up and stuff, but I don't think that looks good on me. Or maybe it would look good on me if I knew what I was doing. But again, I'm not a makeup expert. I don't know how makeup works, honestly. So we're leaving here at noon because... Again, it's my first flight and I just want to be prepared as much as possible. I want to get there on time and everything. So, I don't know. Does this look good? I can't tell. I feel like I put too much on now. I feel like they're drenched. I don't know if you guys can tell how shaky my hands are at the moment. But they are. Hopefully that's good. I hope. I don't know. But that's pretty much for my makeup really uh, I'm not gonna put any setting spray on because I don't have any foundation or maybe you should I don't know again I don't know what I'm doing so typical me anyway uh, I guess I'll talk to you guys when I leave and I will take these off right now because I really don't need them at the moment I don't want to look like an alien and yeah I'll talk to you guys when um uh, in the car probably or at the airport and gonna do some montage clips and stuff so yeah and before I do that I will show you what I'm wearing in just a moment 
So this is my outfit. I'm keeping it super casual. I just have on a black tank top, a black cardigan, some sweatpants, and some sneakers, of course. So keeping it super casual. Um, and yeah, I'm so excited. I'll talk to you guys in a bit while I'm probably in the car or at the airport. So yeah, my camera is already flashing, so I need to charge it. So in a bit. <laughs> because I haven't even told you guys yet um, or maybe I have but I haven't fully told you in detail so I'm supposed to be going over to Vienna first so that's an eight and a half hour trip and then from Vienna I'm supposed to go to Belgrade which is another an hour and a half ish trip there so in total with labor and everything it's supposed to be a 10 plus hour trip so yeah it's a long day of traveling for me but it's okay we actually met somebody at the store when i was buying some uh, food and drinks and the guy saw my vlogging camera and was like are you a vlogger or like is the camera for like youtube or what is it for and i was like oh yeah like i am about to start vlogging and stuff i'm quite new to it and whatever and i he asked me to write down my name on it so if you're watching this hi it was really nice meeting you um and i'm a little less scared now to vlog in public than i was before but yeah so i have a very nice view at the moment i am looking outside of the plane pretty cool um but yeah i'll talk to you guys in a bit probably in vienna um if not then definitely when i arrive at my destination so i think that i was choosing my seat that i would be right on the way and i'm highly disappointed <laughs> 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 not it's okay we'll stick in the get to on some things now um, it's been a few hectic days over here um, but I had lost my luggage coming here and so I've just kind of been waiting on that and been focused on that and family obviously so I feel like I've missed a few days and now I'm back and now but everything's gonna make sense once I put everything together for you but yeah i lost my luggage uh but it finally arrived here yesterday which is good um, i was only living out of my carry-on for like two days so you can't really complain uh it is what it is it happens i just wasn't expecting it because i didn't pack a lot of things in my carry-on you know besides some sweatpants and i don't know some mints or whatever right and so i really didn't have anything to go off of and so yeah but it's okay everything worked out in the end um i actually um you know had like ruined my contact lenses so like just a fun fact for y'all because uh everything like i said was in my like um luggage right like in my suitcase and so that included my contact lens solution that i wash my contacts with and so uh the first day that i came here i was wearing my monthlies right on the flight and that means that it can last for a month obviously monthlies hence the name and so i ended up going to a pharmacy with my cousin to get some contact solution right and keep in mind I came on Sunday and everything here is closed on Sundays except maybe a couple of things that are open like the pharmacy one of the pharmacies that's open for 24 7 and so I was just like okay let's just go grab some and we did but it was 
the one that I've never used before. And so when I was like, you know, getting ready for bed, whatever, I was thinking them out and tried to wash them. But it, I, the contact solution did not look like water like I'm normally used to. It was like, it looked like glue. It looked like Elmer's glue. It was like, like white and sticky. And so I was like, oh no. And I tried rinsing it out with water or whatever, right? But it was like too late and I couldn't even like go back and get the solution anymore. It was just late in the day, right? And so, yeah, so I had to throw those out. And then now that I finally got my luggage, I have my contact solution, but I only bought like two reserve like, contact lenses and they're the dailies which means they have to throw them out after you wear them like right away and so now i'm looking to wear them only on certain days that i'm doing something that i need them so yeah that's that kind of sucks but it's fine i got everything here i've just been you know focused on my family the most and i'm just honestly so grateful that i'm here and that my flights went smooth so honestly it is what it is it happens but yeah so i don't know we've i've kind of been taking it day by day we don't have anything scheduled really besides one thing which is um like this festival concert thing that i'm going with my cousin uh this friday and i'm so excited for it like i cannot wait it's gonna be so fun but yeah so we're going on that but besides that we've kind of just been doing whatever we kind of see what the day brings and just do that right so i'll try and gather some clips and create like a montage and insert them i don't know if i'm gonna vlog at the festival yet i'm hoping to uh but I don't think that I will. I probably will gather some clips on my phone though. <sighs> Besides that, yeah. That's pretty much my update as of right now, but I'll probably update you guys on other things. My arm is killing me right now. I'm not used to holding the camera like this and vlogging. It's gonna take a lot of time to get used to, but we'll get through it, whatever. I'm not worried. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely gather some more clips. I've been gathering some clips, um, but yeah. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. cottage and we're currently swimming a little bit and the view is beautiful take a look at this of looking through some old like family photos and I thought that I would share some pictures of me when I was so little um so this is me I always had very long hair growing up like when I was born I had very dark brown hair and it's like the cutest thing ever like look at me 
I mean, I've always liked cake, but I never knew I liked it this much. <laughs> it's so cute. I can't. But I thought I would share some pictures with you because I thought that was really funny. Um, but there's loads of albums that my grandma left me to look over. Like, I mean, a lot. <laughs> But I'm gonna go through these and just kind of reminisce for a second. Um, but I thought that I would just share that with you because I thought it was really cute. <laughs> so I am here with my lovely cousin. Hello, sister, sister, <laughs> sister, sister. We're just getting some stuff here from uh, the store. What? What is? What's the name of it? You the mark? best of Gilmart in the somber city. Uh huh. So we're just getting some few things before I leave back to Canada. Um, so yeah. <laughs> So we made it to the city and we're just going out for a little walk. Ciao, ciao. We, we, I know everybody here. Yeah, she is so is popular. <laughs> yeah, this is her city. I kid you not, we walk like literally two meters and she already says hi to like 10 people Hello. already. Hi. Yeah, she like she has her own little like business, you know. Yes. I am. Uh, fitness and the personal life coach um, mm -hmm. I have my personal business and I'm very popular here yeah and because our city where we come from is Sambor and so everybody knows everybody and especially her because she literally coaches the entire city and it's oh my god I have to show you guys around her studio it's so nice but we are just I don't know walking around she's showing me around a little bit and like look at this it's so pretty here I can't get it's over a it green city mm -hmm. a lot of trees <laughs> Yes. Yeah, and a uh, lot of people here. Yeah, can because we just appreciate it's summertime? Yeah, it's not uh, in the winter time like this. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah. it's very boring here. <laughs> can because we? Somewhere it's a very small city. Yeah, yeah. Can we just appreciate how good her English is? Like, <laughs> she's so good. Yes, oh my so gosh. Thank you very much. And no, she's not from Russia, if anybody <laughs> was wondering. I'm from Serbia. <laughs> Serbia. So, but oh my gosh. I, at least I can have her in my vlog so you guys know what she's talking about. And I'm not the only one. <laughs> Subscribe here. Please. Yeah. And uh, if you yep. want me, same. Subscribe. <laughs> Is on uh, by Iris. Yeah. Love you. Guys. Yeah, just keep. I'm, I'm, I might edit this out. You know, she's using me for promotion purposes at this point. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah. Her links will be down in the uh, comment section or, well, in the description down below. So you guys should definitely check her out. She's amazing. Oh <laughs> she's so sweet. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we're just. You know, having the best time of our lives, and we're um, gonna catch you guys in a little bit. So, bye! So, I am currently headed out to town by myself, surprisingly. Um, I'm going to one of these you know well-known grocery stores here and I cannot wait until I shop till I drop because the food here is phenomenal the snacks here out of this world great so that's what I'm going to get currently let's hope I find it okay <laughs> wish me luck I can't even but I was at the store right and I <laughs> was so out of it that at the um, at the checkout I came and she like scanned everything through and was like 
you know she told me the price of everything and i didn't understand her right so i gave her like the amount that i thought that was gonna be enough and she's just like staring at me and she's just like uh you need this much more and i'm like okay so it was uh kind of embarrassing to say the least um and then on top of that i didn't have a bag so i was like can i have a bag and then it was like the bags were hidden on the side of the customer and not her and so i had to like be like Hi, can you reach the bag for me please like I, I don't know like I was like so confused because usually if, like when you're in Canada they just the cashiers kind of give you the bag themselves like they ask you if you want one or not but this and this time you had to like get it yourself and I was like what, what's going on um, but it all went good and now I'm headed home Oh my gosh, the bag is so heavy, like I just said. I brought some ice cream, and I think that's what's making it really heavy. My arm is killing me, but it's okay. We're almost home, so I'm just glad that I found everything okay. So I thought that I would show you guys my childhood home um, because I'm passing right through it, and it's so nostalgic because... I grew up here, so this is it. It's like so nice and nostalgic. So I thought I would share that with you guys. Okay, so I finally made it back home and I got the ice cream out right away. So this is the ice cream that I got, the pre. It's so good. I am gonna devour this right now. But I don't know, I guess I could do a little mukbang. Not really, but oh, oh my god, it looks so good. It looks so good. Look at this. Oh, yes. Oh, I am so excited for this. But anyway, uh, yeah, so I like went. Give me one second, I got it. I got it tasted. Mmm. This is life. Remember when I told you guys how obsessed with sweets I was and I still am? That's what I mean. I'm so good. Um, but yeah, I still gotta go uh, do some more shopping later today with my aunt. And then I have one more day here and then I leave on Friday. Well, we have to leave quite early on Friday because I have a flight um, at 7.45, I think. So it's going to be a long, long day for me. Friday, just going and traveling all day is not fun. But, you know, all good things come to an end, I guess. But... Yeah, I'm excited to, you know, travel some more, create more contact, content for you guys. I think it's going to be, like, really, really nice to do so because I'm going to have all these memories to look back on. And oh, I'm just excited for this whole vlogging journey and, you know, everybody has been so supportive lately with me doing this and I know it's kind of or it's going to become annoying for not only myself but for other people to you know have me pull out the camera every two seconds I know that even going to the store today I was just like okay I gotta pull my camera out I gotta vlog this and that and it's gonna get a lot of getting used to but I'm sure everything is gonna work itself out it is so hot in here like oh my goodness it's I think it's probably like around 30 35 degrees right now the ice cream is not helping all I could think about is just like either going out for a swim or showering one of those two has to happen because I am boiling and it doesn't help the fact that I wore a long sleeve dress today I don't know what made me think that was a good idea but it that's what I'm doing that's me in a nutshell but 
um, I'm just like I'm so happy that I came here and that I got to see everybody it's been such a good time you know from you know going to the cottage to going to Belgrade to see a concert to just hang out with my cousins it's just been so 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 nice and I cannot be happier so overall 10 out of 10 would recommend this vacation <laughs> and I'm just so so happy and yeah so I guess I'll see you when I see you next I might vlog here and there a little bit more um if not then I guess the next time I will see you is at the airport so wish me luck on that and I'll probably not end the vlog here but I will end this sometime um soon probably like I said at the airport um it's probably gonna be my last time just talking to you guys and ending this travel vlog so hopefully you guys enjoyed it as much as I have so yeah I'm gonna continue eating this ice cream and I'm gonna cool off a little bit and then we'll see what else today brings for me so you may be wondering where I am oh do I have a story time for you guys do I have a story time so I was supposed to leave Belgrade today and go back to Canada oh but no 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 the universe had other plans for me oh yes oh yes so I you know did not sleep the entire night because I was like okay in my mind I'm like okay I'm gonna you know hang out with my family you know while I still can and I'm just gonna sleep on the flight simple as that right so around like 2 a.m. I get picked up by my aunt and we drive all the way down to the airport and I go through security I go through like everything right I find my gate and I sit where I'm supposed to you know I'm where I'm supposed to be and my flight is literally the exact same as the one that I took coming to Serbia so um you know flying with Air Serbia to Vienna and then from Vienna I'm flying with Air Canada to Toronto so I'm sitting there you know minding my own business and then all of a sudden people start getting up and I'm like cool cool you know I'm like what's going on I'm like so confused and turns out they changed the gate and I'm like okay no need to freak out just yet so I'm like trying to figure out where my new gate is and I find it on the screen and it says like I think it was like C1 and then right as I look at that I hear like you know uh, an announcement from one of the you know employees say you know if you are flying to Vienna report to C14 which is all the way on the other end of the airport so at this point in time I'm like freaking out I'm like okay where am I supposed to be C1 is like literally two steps away from me or C14 which is like literally a kilometer away from me which one do I go to and of course I took the long way around like the long route and I like you know fast walk there and then I'm like okay this is ridiculous I'm not seeing anybody from the bunch that were waiting at the other gate and I'm like I'm, that I'm this can't be right right and so I asked the person you know I asked one of the employees um at the counter and I'm like where where's my flight you know and it's just like oh you're supposed to be at C1 so then I sprint all the way 
like on the other end of the airport to find C1 again because I thought, you know, maybe it was C14, but it wasn't. And it was so my flight was supposed to be boarding at 6:45 and it was already 6:45 at this point. So I was like sprinting, I was like running for it. I get there and everybody's sitting, everybody's calm, like nobody's boarding the flight yet. So I'm like, okay, fine, like I'm so tired, um, you know, from running and also like actually tired because I haven't slept all night long. And I sit down, I ask the woman beside me, I'm like, is this, you know, is this going to Vienna? And she's just like, yeah, they changed the gate, you're, you know, you're right where you're supposed to be. I'm like, cool. So then I sit and sit and wait, you know, just like everybody else. And I keep noticing the time, like, it's like already 7, we still haven't boarded. Then it comes 7.30, we still haven't boarded. Then I, you know, see people going up to the employees there and being like, where the heck is this flight? And everybody's getting mad at this point. Everybody's like, literally about to throw hands at each other. Like, it's insane. And then, you know, they're like okay at eight o'clock we're gonna give you guys an update as to what's going on because apparently they didn't know any information either so i'm like okay i'll wait till eight and see what happens eight rolls around no information nobody says anything whatsoever i'm like okay cool cool okay we're gonna remain calm and then literally it's like nine o'clock and then everybody's just really getting rowdy at this point everybody's really upset and you know i feel so bad for the employees because i know it's not you know it's not their fault that this is happening they're just relying on the message and stuff but everybody is acting like a karen and you can't even have a normal conversation with anybody because everybody's freaking out because a lot of us had connecting flights in vienna right so you know there was like a good chunk of us that were going to canada uh and so we needed that connecting flight but because our flight is delayed then how are we going to catch the flight so you know on the screen it now said you know the flight is supposed to be there at 10 30 and i'm like great this is the time when i'm supposed to be boarding my next flight and so after about another half an hour, they call all the people that are going to Canada to, you know, follow this one girl to go get our like tickets changed. And so we walk all the way back to the beginning of the airport of where I started like I literally went all the way to the entrance to where I started and I'm like like it still hasn't hit me yet because I'm like so tired and I don't even know what to even do with myself so we get our luggage um, back and so I'm carrying my you know my carry-on and then my actual like luggage like my big suitcase and it's like so hard to carry because not only do I have that, but I have, you know, the vlogging camera, I have my phone, I have the water that I brought, I have my passport, you know, I have everything is like, I, I'm carrying like so much like in my hands. And so I'm like, okay, don't freak out yet, don't freak out. And then we go, you know, like I said, all the way back to the entrance and there you know we line up to get our new boarding passes for another flight and this part takes forever it is so slow it is painfully slow i like we were waiting there by we i mean the other people that i met on this flight were waiting there for about five hours just to get our you know our tickets changed it's my turn at this point it's my turn right and so i'm like cool and before then everybody was kind of like gossiping and kind of overhearing what other people were doing um and we kept overhearing the you know the flight that's available right now is tuesday at the latest 
and I'm like what the heck like I don't want to be going home on Tuesday that's literally the entire weekend and I start school literally on the 6th which is on the Tuesday that where I'm supposed to be leaving and I'm like freaking out at this point I'm like oh my god like I literally start crying like I'm I, I don't know what to do with myself because I start school and I need to be there and you know this is my first solo trip and I just I'm literally getting so fed up um like my emotions are ru running wild it's just insane right and I you know talk to this person trying to get my flight changed I'm like is there anything that leaves sooner than Tuesday right and he just keeps sh shaking his head no like no this is this is it this is the most feasible flight that you can get unless you want to maybe travel Sunday but then you have to you know make two layovers and a lot of other airlines are on strike um and I was just like I don't want to risk that again and I'm like I don't know what to do and so I was just like okay whatever fine I'll just take the Tuesday flight I'll figure some stuff out whatever and then I get that and everybody's just kind of exhausted and mad and sad and like everybody has stuff to do everybody needs to get back before the 6th like it's literally life or death like people are losing their jobs over this like uh, like it's a lot like everybody has different obligations to attend to and they cannot wait until after that like oh my god it was such a mess and so we were like okay whatever and then they told us you know go get your voucher or whatever for your hotel room and your like bus or whatever that's going to take you there and we all kind of like we formed like a group which was really comforting uh which you know made me feel a little bit more calm and less stressed out but i was still stressed out at this point i'm calling everybody i'm like spamming my parents with messages i'm calling my aunt i'm calling like literally everybody i'm like you know this is what's happening i'm like crying at this point i'm like really upset like really really upset and so i uh end up going with this group of people to get our you know vouchers or whatever for this hotel room and stuff and then you know when we get settled and stuff we go by the entrance way right the entrance and so we're waiting for this bus to come for the shuttle to come and take us to the hotel and oh my god we wait another like five or six hours and it's like literally nothing is coming nothing is near us and we keep asking literally every single person that works there where this like shuttle is to take us to our hotel room like there's kids there's like older like elderly people there's like it's literally like it's exhausting and draining and especially if you haven't slept like i haven't for x amount of hours it's like literally you're just dead you're dead tired you just don't want to do anything else besides just sleep and just be on a plane or something right like it's just awful and um yeah and so we wait there and then while we're waiting me and this mom with her two daughters we go back and try and see if there's any other possible flights that we can go on. Maybe something changed. Maybe something opened up. And sure enough, there was. There's something. I'm sorry, I think I might be talking too loud. There's like something. And we were like, yes. But then the girl who was doing the ticketing and stuff, uh, she was just like, we kept on coming to her for like help and stuff and um she kind of got annoyed at us at first and she was just like okay i need to deal with other customers you need to go at the back of the line again and then come back to me and we we're like oh my god like we literally need to let everybody else go by and wait in line 
again which this is the slowest line ever like we were there for another like two hours waiting like it's literally an all day thing like it was so bad we finally got you know um to the end of the line and she takes care of us she's just like okay fine i'll you know get you the tickets the new tickets and so now i got a new freaking ticket <sighs> and this ticket is going to take me to athens and then from athens i'm going to fly to toronto now i have to take like a 16 hour layover which is just crazy to think about and on top of that my flight from athens to toronto is like another 11 hours i am going to be exhausted by the end of this and i'm definitely going to sleep right now because i'm so so tired i haven't slept i'm just so exhausted like oh my god to the core but anyway i just want to give you that little update that little story time because in my head i was just like oh yeah i'm gonna end the vlog great you know today that'll be it you know sayonara yeah no no that that that's far from what happened today but the good thing about all of this is that i got a very nice hotel room so i'm gonna give you a little room tour of it and i i'm kind of excited to do so because it's my first time being in a hotel room alone and spending the night here i oh my god i'm just you know i'm happy that i have the mother and the two daughters with me because and they're older daughters right they're like older than me actually by a little bit but at least i have them to help me out she's been helping me she's been getting the taxi for me I, like everything she's like literally an angel sent from the heavens like i'm so so incredibly thankful for this family like for taking care of me i i would be lost and i would be freaking out by now i mean i am but at least i know that i'm i have the same flight with somebody else and everything's gonna be okay like i just keep telling myself that everything's gonna be okay you know I'll remain calm everything's gonna be okay but anyway i'm going to give you a little room tour of this hotel room because it's super nice and fancy and it's the only good thing to come out of today so let me show you around okay so as you walk in this is what you see so we have a beautiful bed right here i think that's a king size bed maybe maybe a queen i don't know the difference then you have this mirror right here love that i do not have a cute outfit on right now i don't know what this is uh, maybe for hanging your clothes i'm uneducated maybe you guys can tell me then you have this little stool um i guess you can sit on it while you put your shoes on nothing too fancy my luggage we're gonna ignore that for right now then a cute little um table right here uh and then these cute little candles oh i wonder if i can actually turn that on i don't know we'll figure it out and then this little painting cute the ceiling of course i'm literally giving you like every single detail of this room another table right here with i think it's a menu i don't know i think so yeah we're just gonna leave that because we're too poor for that and then i wanted to show you the view from here but i think you can't really see it because well there's people watching but here it is and then we have a little mini fridge right here it has some you know drinks right here nothing too fancy i again am too poor for this and will not be taking part of any of it um then some uh, mugs for coffee and this is the menu and the prices in case you guys were wondering not that y'all are too interested in that a little kettle and then this cute little old vintage phone 
then my phone of course because i need to charge it then we have um, a little tv up there uh, some drawers right here nothing too special nothing too fancy some glasses right here again excuse the mess i literally just came all of this is getting packed tomorrow this does not have anything in it i can't even open it because of my suitcase but it's literally an empty closet cute cute and then the toilet looks like this well the washroom actually looks like this the shower i could not figure out so i just used the old normal head shower but there is the overhead one too um again nothing too special toilet whatever me again hi um again literally nothing too fancy but yeah that's what i've been dealing with at the moment uh i'm gonna go and rest i need some sleep because it's been a very very long day tomorrow i'm getting up at probably seven to just you know re you know refresh myself and i need to grab breakfast at nine and then 10 we're leaving and then we're gonna go to the airport go through security and hopefully i can get on a flight and get back to canada because this time yesterday or whatever i was supposed to be in canada and i'm not yet in canada anyway wish me luck i'll definitely need it because this has been a day and a half to say the least but it's okay we'll get through it it's just a little you know a little um i can't think of the word i'm too tired i'm too tired oh my god it's a little roadblock but it's nothing that we can't handle so i believe in ourselves oh and this is the cute chair look at it it's so cute anyway good night and i will see you when i see you next bye swimming in the ocean like who would have thought and I honestly am living in a dream right now I'm so happy right now I just like all the stress went away even though I'm still not home like I don't know how this happened but I'm so happy about it and oh my gosh I we're staying at this hotel that's so nice I mean the it's the best that we could get but it's still so nice and we're going into town to get food in a bit so i might get some clips here and there but our trip is not over yet and i can officially say that i've been to greece so there's that and i'm so happy about it but this is our view so we can see the ocean from there and then just the building like nothing too fancy but still so nice i'm so happy about it and uh, <laughs> i can't believe this is happening right now i can't believe this is real and i don't want to leave here right now because it's so nice i'm definitely coming back here for my next trip 100 percent <laughs>
finally made it. Oh, it's been a long trip. I finally made it back and oh, I'm ready to go home and sleep in my own bed tonight. I hope you guys enjoy this travel vlog. Um, <laughs> not only did I go to one place, but I went to two. It's, it was a journey and a half, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Bye!